Thanks for joining us today at CACAM Hacks. We received a question recently in regard to the manual buckle bite registration in the Connect software. Uh, this one is specifically with a Prime Scan. And I wanted to review just why uh, you're being asked to do a buckle bite registration, uh, some things you might want to consider doing differently, and then how to actually do the manual uh, registration. Because at times this will happen. Primarily, it happens when you didn't acquire enough information in the acquisition phase in your buckle bite catalog in order for the software to put the models together for you. Uh, so the first step would always be to go back to acquisition, scan a bit more in the buckle bite catalog until you actually get a green check mark. Once you have that green check mark in the buckle bite catalog under acquisition, you won't have to do this step. But inevitably, this will come up, and, and a lot of times this happens when there's a lot of artifacting in the scan. Um, and so I just wanted to review how we actually correlate these models, because you can see right now, we since they're not correlated, we can't send them off to any sort of laboratory. Also, we can't go in and we can't export them as any usable file type at this point. And so we need to make sure that these are correlated uh, to have a good buckle bite registration before we can actually move forward and do anything with this scan. So the great thing is you can see we have in the gray area here uh, a ghosting of the scan that we actually captured. You can see here that there isn't much of a scan at all. We would, would have wanted to scan a bit more in this area here, and we likely would have got that green check mark. But in order to do this alignment, it's very simple. Uh, all we want to do is we want to or orientate our models to, to look very similar to what we have here in the, in the buckle bite um, ghosting uh, scan, essentially. So what we do is we simply left click on it, and you can see it rotates itself. If you left click on it again, it'll rotate it back to where you want it. So we just want to make sure we grab it. Uh, kind of right in the middle, and we're going to pull it down towards our lower jaw first. And the great thing is you can overlay it over top of the teeth and see where exactly that it aligns on this arch. So this one looks like it, it aligns right about there. You don't have to be bang on, it just has to be pretty close. And you can see the software saying, hey, I have enough common data points that uh, we can attach to the lower jaw to our buckle bite scan. So now we need to do the upper jaw. So what it looks like to me is that looks like a canine. And so I'm just going to left click on this model, rotate it around a bit. I'm going to tip it down a little bit more and try to get it close to the angle of that canine there and how these two arches would actually align. So now don't grab the lower arch out uh, beyond where the buckle bite scan is. Grab it right over top of the buckle bite. And you can see we can pull it up to our upper arch. And we're going to align it over top of that canine. And the software is going to take a look and say, hey, did you get it pretty close? And we did. So now you can see here that both of our uh, models are articulated. We have a good buckle bite uh, and we are ready to go. You can see actually up here that the connect button lit up. So we're ready to send this off to a laboratory. Also, if we go up here to export, we now will have some additional file types. So we have STL. Also, DXD, if you wanted to take this file over into Serex software or Ortho software or um, or eventually the OroCheck software. Or we can export our STL as a high resolution for, for any sort of 3D printing applications that we want. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But that is the way you do a manual buckle bite registration. Now, again, I just want to reinforce that in order to eliminate this, because it can be time consuming or, or a bit tedious at times to do this, under your acquisition tab, you want to make sure that the buckle bite uh, catalog here has a green check mark. Now, you see it has a green check mark now because we went and did the manual buckle bite registration. But um, when we were scanning, if we didn't have this green check mark before we proceeded to the model tab, it would ask us to do the manual correlation that we, we had to do back here over our model. So anyhow, hope that helps. Reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot and have a great day.